that has temporarily fixed the problem but we're still finding how to fix it properly properly and i hope i don't have to buy another part for it Before we start this video, I want to give a big shout out to our latest partner in this series, Cobra Suspension and Cobra Suspension India. They have been kind enough to help us out uh, in getting some amazing lowering springs for this car and that episode will be coming very very soon onto the channel. So if you want to get your car some good lowering springs at an affordable price and make your car look super nice with the perfect fitment, do check out Cobra Suspension and Cobra Suspension India. And now back to the episode. Welcome back to another episode of Project Laura. And in the last episode, if you haven't seen it, we fitted the carbon fiber intake we uh, inspected the leak that was coming near the turbocharger so we're gonna probably try and fix that in today's episode and the third thing that we did was remove the o2 sensor wire and we're trying to refurbish it so that the check engine light doesn't come anymore and apart from that in today's episode what we are going to be doing is we're going to be fitting the audi r8 ignition coils the iridium spark plugs and a few more maintenance bits here and there so let's get cracked Alright, so we've just changed the spark plugs from the car, we put in NGK Iridium spark plugs and now this is the cool part, these are ignition coils from an Audi R8, so uh, exactly it's from the 4.2 litre V8 which was found in the R8 and surprisingly this ignition coil is a perfect fit to the one found in the 1.8 TSI, so this will hopefully increase the performance by a little margin and yeah, pretty cool feature, R8 ignition coils in my Skoda Laura. You might be asking what upgraded ignition coils and spark plugs do. Well, these mods do not directly create more power but reduce lag in the throttle pedal since they are quicker to respond. They also help a lot when the remap is installed and can take more of a beating thus indirectly help in generating more power. After I got done fitting the Audi R8 ignition coils to the car, we raised the lift up to address the oil leakage. After a thorough inspection, we found out that a screw in the oil hose assembly for the turbo was creating the leak. So we quickly took a rubber o-ring and covered the leak up, but this was a very temporary fix. So we kept the car running for almost half an hour, we inspected the leakage for almost again another half an hour, so we were inspecting the car for almost an hour long and after that we still haven't properly found the leak which is kind of concerning but still it's nothing to really worry about it's coming from the turbo oil hose supply system which was which is a very common problem in the Skoda Laura but uh, we're still trying to find out how to fix it so we've just fitted a quick o-ring on top of the nut bolt that we think might be leaking that has temporarily fixed the problem but we're still finding how to fix it properly properly and I hope I don't have to buy another part for it While we were doing a few more checks on the car, in the last episode we addressed that the car had an O2 sensor problem. So the guys removed the wiring for the sensor from underneath the car and started to patch the broken pieces of the wire. Meanwhile, Niranjan was taking a reading of the car and gathering data. He was also taking a backup of the original tune of the car so that we can ready the car for the stage 2 remap. So 
So we just did some data logging with the car. Niranjan has copied the stock file from the ECU, and hopefully in the next or the episode after that, we're going to be tuning this thing into a stage two car. So for today, the update is we changed the ignition coils to R8 ignition coils. Uh, we've changed the spark plugs to performance iridium spark plugs, and we're still trying to find out the sole cause for the oil leak. We've, like I said, we're uh, owing for now just. To uh, stop it temporarily, but I don't think that's going to be a permanent fix. Uh, we've removed the wire, like I said, uh, from underneath the car and gotten the O2 sensor wire on top onto the engine bay. So mostly by the next episode, we'll have that sorted out as well. And yeah, that's it for this episode. I hope you like it. Follow Auto Descent Performance, Pristine Automobiles, and follow us on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.